All right, I'm here with Adam Friedman, one of, if not the best mixed game player in the world. Unsurprisingly, you've taken down the stud here for a fifth bracelet. Can you put into words your feeling right now? Uh, I'm very excited. You might, you might not be able to tell my emotion, but it's uh, Summer Card Stud High is a game that I've grinded uh, thousands and thousands of hours over the years uh, out in Los Angeles. And it's a tournament I've struggled with over the years, you know, just because I mean, it's tournaments, anything can happen. But it was nice to be able to put everything all together this year and to finally be able to win a bracelet. That means a lot to me personally. And, a, and another record, you have won a bracelet for the last four consecutive years. I, I, yeah, I, I think that's only happened once mm -hmm. before, so it's uh, something to look forward to uh, in 2023. And now you have a, you've bracelets in the dealer's choice and the stud. What, what would be your next preference? What one would you like to win next? Uh, Probably the main event because it has the biggest mm -hmm. payday. But no, and also, uh, I mean, that the one coming up I, I can't wait to play is the Poker Players Championship. Uh, it's another tournament I have not had uh, any success in. Uh, stuck four binds, but I'd love to be able to turn that around this year as well. And I talked to you last year when you won your fourth bracelet, and we were talking about the dealer's choice. And what is it about mixed games that you love so much? Because everything changes. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're, if you're just playing, playing one game, whether it's Stud High or Potlum in Omaha and No Limit Hold'em. It's, it's just going to get really tedious and boring after all for me personally. Uh, I love being able to mix it up, play as many games and rotations as possible. It, it, keeps, it keeps poker fresh and it keeps it fun. And I remember last year as well, you were saying you were trying to encourage others to get involved in the mixed games. You, you're still, you stand by that still? Of course. I mean, I, I'll say once I'll say it again, mm -hmm. two card poker is boring. Uh, it's, you can only play so much of it compared to every other game. It's, every other game is so much more fascinating, whether it's big bet or limit. Uh, and, I mean, you know, I'll still, I still play uh, two-card poker occasionally here and there, but I just, I'd much rather play all the other games. And finally, was that your family here that we saw? Yeah, my parents actually, they, they were uh, they're here for about nearly two weeks. They mm -hmm. coincidentally flew in, uh, they flew in today. They got in about an hour ago, and uh, a few friends from back home and other friends I've been able to meet on the road over the years, and I'm um, just really happy with what I've been able to achieve. They got to uh, see it live. It was amazing. Yeah, it's the uh, second time I think they've been able to do that, so... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really happy that they're here. Congratulations again, and, and hopefully your streak continues, and I'll talk to you with your sixth bracelet. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.